with the head coach of Crestview, Jeremy Best. You know, when we when we were talking about this, when you look at a bracket as interesting, we you mean it in a different interesting than how we mean it interesting. It's, that's something that could be looked at as kind of a difficult road to hoe, right? Yeah, I think as a coach, you the interesting word is not really the word. You, it's more <laughs> of concerning and, and uh, um, one of those types of scenarios where there's a lot of really good teams in this sectional that will feed into this district. So a lot of parity, a lot of really good teams that, that um, on any given night can, can beat any of the other uh, of their opponents. So in a team in our situation, you know, we're obviously focused on whoever wins the game to get to play us and then survive and move on. You know, you, you do mention that you have a lot of these matchups. And again, you don't know who you're going to play yet. Obviously, there's a lot of things that have to happen. But you kind of look at this bracket. You look at the possibility of a matchup between either Fort Jennings or, or Temple Christian. And then if you get past them kind of moving on, you might have Delphi St. John's. You might have Lima Central Catholic. Yeah. You know, you just never really sure. Maybe you have Continental. Like we just talked about teams sure. with below 500 making runs. Um, how do you as a coach, kind of knowing the possibility of the matchups, how do you prepare for that? Is that something you just kind of push away? Like, we'll, we'll deal with that when it comes time. I'm focused on what we're doing this week. Yeah. Or do you kind of peek ahead and go, well, that, that's a possible matchup. That's something I need to take a look at. Well, as the brackets are now, as they play out, every coach um, kind of plays it out, and they might scratch it out of who might be seated where. They might try and portray who's going to go where, what line they're going to go on. And now with it on paper, if it being set in stone, now you're just focused on who your potential opponent's going to be in your first tournament game, and ours you know, will be Temple or, or Fort Jennings. So that's really where your thoughts are now. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, you don't want to project out too far because um, it's a one-game format. So yep. You play one game at a time. Absolutely. And you still have you know, some business in the regular season to take care of. Right. Still looking for that Northwest, uh, Northwest Conference crown. Um, how does that factor into your, your preparation? Because you guys mm -hmm. are still, you know, you're, you're very close to the, you're, well, you're actually you're a game behind Columbus Grove. You're still trying to fight right. for the NWC crown. Right. So how does that kind of factor in? Plus the fact that you guys, you've got Columbus Grove coming up here in yeah. a couple of weeks. So what does that do mindset wise for you as a coach? I mean, there's a number of things that you're looking at as, as potential outcomes of things. Well, you know, we lost our first conference game of the year at Bluffton. And uh, ever since then, we've been scratching and clawing to put ourselves in an opportunity to get to the end of the year to control our own destiny and, and play in that last game of the year with a chance to at least share the title. But we got to take, you know, we got Friday in front of us. We got to play a Spencerville team that's, that uh, is going to be ready to play. And again, you, you, you've got to keep your guys coming back hungry um, mm -hmm. every week in practice. And being a senior group, we think our guys have, have been able to kind of control that on their own uh, with a little bit of prodding here and there from our coaches and, and, and our coaching staff. So you, you got to keep them engaged. You got to keep their interest. You got to keep their focus. And, um, you know, I, I think as we move down the, the, the path here, that's, that's a concern, too, that we want to continue to take one game at a time. You've had a lot of those good senior leaders in, you know, Javen Etzler, Wade Sheets, both those guys are athletes. They're playing sports at the next level here next right. year. How have, just talk about the overall contribution, that senior leadership you had. Where have, have you seen them kind of inspire the younger kids to kind of continue the, the yeah. excellence that you guys have had for a couple of years now? Well, those, I'm proud of all our seniors. There's, there's just been a lot of maturity and matura the maturation process with those guys has, has been fun to be a part of when you have – you know, a lot of those guys, Javen especially, and, and Drew and, and, uh, and Wade have played, you know, pushing 100 varsity games in four years. That's impressive. And there's been ups and downs with that as coaches, those relationships that happen. But it's been really cool to watch that progression, and I've enjoyed that. Uh, and I've learned a lot uh, in, in how to manage kids and relationships from the time they're 14 <laughs> to the time they're 18. Drew Klein, also part of that group. Crestview head coach Jeremy Best. Coach, thanks for your time and good luck in the playoffs. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more on the postseason selection show right after this here on WOSN.